Hey guys, it's me Heather and I'm back with another video and today we are doing a full face of everything new. Um, there might be one or two items that are not new but I think between my Ulta and Sephora haul and what's it, CVS, somewhere, I picked up some new stuff. Um, so I have enough to do almost a full face, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, I've already primed my eyes with my e.l.f. Um, putty primer. I don't know where I just I just tossed it somewhere but that's what's it's in the tan or the cream shade that I always use and I picked up the wet and wild saved by the bell squad goals palette and I said you know what I have to do a video on this because who doesn't love saved by the bell who were you a bigger fan of were you a Zach Morris fan or <laughs> AC Slater and that's the colors I'm so torn on which ones I want to use but I think because I love me some pinks and some purples. We're going to do that. But that may change. <laughs> we're going to set it over here. And we're just going to go to town here. So I'm just using my Morphe R39 brush. And we're going to go in with this color. Maybe this one and then this one. It took me 27 hours to get this little to open their stuff. Me and somebody were just talking about this on their channel. You cannot get wet and wild packaging open. Sorry for the um, blinding you in the mirror behind me. So I just took that lighter shade, not the darker one that you saw. I took the lighter one beside it. The real light pink. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Love my, no, it's not uh, breakouts. It's the scars from the breakout, so so much for all that good skin I was so excited about. <laughs> uh, I just got out of the shower, blow dried my hair with my round brush, and said, hey, I'm gonna film my makeup today, so. So we're just taking that up again while we smoking that up. It's pigmented, I mean, you can tell. It's just pink, so it's kinda, it's like a mauve pink, it's not a bright pink, so. Might as well just take it all over the lid here, just to even that out. So um, I started with this real light pink, and then I put this over it, just basically all over, right below that light pink there. And, hmm. I think I'm going to just take maybe just a smidge of this, just in the crease only, trying to darken it up a little bit, and then we'll put some of that purple. Got a very little bit on the brush, yeah. Just try to give it some depth here. Oh, that's good. I just barely tapped it in there, too, so... doing something <laughs> yeah so if you really I mean if you I'm just tapping it on the just brushing it across the top of the color because I just want a little bit to darken up this crease but this is really pigmented I'm gonna say I'm quite impressed you never know with wet and wild some of their collections like I think the one that was at just at Target people went nuts for it went out and bought it and <laughs> no every review, review I saw they were like ah. eh. all right so um, I'm going to put this shimmery purple all over the lid and as usual I'm just going to use my finger just to save from having to wet a brush. Um, I have not seen anybody's video on this so I don't know, I don't know what to expect. I wanted my, well hello, I wanted my review to be authentic obviously but I didn't want anybody's good or bad reviews to influence me so, well, it's quite beautiful. It's just that purple, obviously, all over the lid. I don't know if you would get better if you had a wet brush, but I'm just a fan of warming it up with my fingertips, so. And I like that a lot, and I really want to use this glitter, but I'm afraid it's going to ruin the whole look. So I just use that with my finger, and just put it on. And I really want to use some of this glitter, but then I'm like, what if I ruin this look and then I have to start all over? So, we're going to do it. Anyway. Like glue, I'm going to take some lash glue. 
I mean, we're gonna take some of that glitter, but I'm gonna do lash glue first. We're just gonna do it on this side and see how bad it looks. But we're gonna take brush this all over the lid and then take our finger, just kind of tap it in. Just get it, let it get tacky like you would if you're putting lashes on. And then we're gonna take some of this. Oh, it's not like, it's like actual, oh, it's pretty. It's not greasy like some of their Halloween palettes or their, um, you know, like they're like $1.99 palettes and their glitter. Whoa, baby. That is pretty. I'm picking up a lot of different colors in that. Don't worry, I'll insert photos at the end. All right, so we got to put some lash glue on this side. I thought it was gonna be like slimy, like they're greasy one, like the grease paint. So that's why I did the lash glue, but I don't know that you need it because it's very, look how pretty that is, all the different colors. But there's a lot, of, it's like finely milled, really packed in there, so you don't really need. It's gonna come together once I get my foundation on. It's hard to tell what an eye look. What an eye look's gonna do when the whole face is red. <laughs> like the, the red eyes are the same color as the face. So, yeah, so I'm very pleasantly. Give me that. <clears throat> you like my little. It's a hocus pocus, y'all. My little cup I made. <laughs> and don't worry, it's tea. I'm not tipsy this early in the morning. Fingers crossed. All right, so. I, against all of my better judgment, I picked up this L'Oreal. I've got glitter on everything now. I uh, picked up this L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I featured it. Is it too close? Too far? Too close? It looks like it's blurry, but anyways. Um, I picked this up. I mean, I mentioned it. I saw it like a month ago, and I was like, does anybody want to review on that? And I got a bunch of yeses. Uh, all they do is curl. <laughs> all right, so. Just one little layer. Not awful, right? I mean, much better than we started with. So, just what little left here. I'm gonna take it. I still use the concealer because I have so much redness under on my cheeks where I have busted capillaries. And then I obviously have scarring. But, this has a, like, I don't need the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. I don't need to put that on when I use this because this has, my camera's not gonna pick it up, but it has the most beautiful, oh, yes it is. Look at that. Forget the ring light, but inside there, that glow, that's like flawless filter inside of the foundation. A lot of people compare this to the Giorgio Armani Luminous Civic. I did not like that foundation at all. It did not give me any coverage. It did not last. I'm gonna tell you I've been wearing this at work under a mask and I was like, it's never gonna work. But I'm here for the reviews, guys. I do stuff for you. <laughs> I don't feel like an idiot. I mean, I usually do that. Um, and I said, this is never gonna last. And I came home and guess what? By golly, it was still on. So you could continue to layer that, but I think we have come to us where well, I think this looks quite good. And we are going to use our new, I told you mostly everything's new, so. I, this is new. I just had not used it on camera yet. And I still had some on the back of my hand I could have used, but it's supposed to be light. Not too shabby. I mean, of course, I still have a little bit here, but that's why we have concealer. And I picked up this shade Fair One Neutral. You know I don't like to go in, I don't go in stores. I live in Florida. It's a cesspool of germs. So <laughs> I don't like to go in store. I don't touch testers. There were girls that were putting on um lipstick from the testers and the poor support girls were like we told you not to do that I'm like why thank you so anyways this is the new one size turn up the base butter silk concealer i have not used it yet so we will see i don't know why i've never put my concealer on like this i just felt wild today i guess yolo let's see if we get any coverage here I mean, that went right in. It is buttery silk, silky smooth, but it's not like creamy where I feel like it's gonna crease. Cause it's like it went in to the skin. Like it went 
it's not sitting there some of the like the it cosmetics is amazing but oh my god it creases because it is so creamy like a lot of people like that number seven um what's it called it's like the number seven concealer and a lot of people love that but it creases like because it is so creamy like it's got something dewy in it and it just creases like the dickens on me all right so i will say l'oreal i mean this little bee was twenty dollars so but i think it's worth it i think it's beautiful coming from somebody who has oily skin and has to wear a mask all day i say mm -hmm. forgive my hair too like just blow dried it with a little round brush i haven't curled it haven't done anything so <laughs> Yeah, I was going to work or I was going out and about. I would set my nose, my T-zone, but I'm not today. Bronzer, but this is wet and wild, and I've been using it and loving it again, and it is Sunset Strip Tees, so we will use that because it was on top here, which means I've been using it this week, and I quite enjoyed it. It's um, the perfect color for me. You just kind of have to get a few swatches in across the palette for it to show up. But now see what happens. I washed them, and they're all frizzly there <laughs> see it's very light like gucci just boom but also gucci's like fifty dollars and this is like five so yeah i think it's a beautiful color the perfect shade for me and again that is the wet and wild sunset strip tees i've had it for a while but i just reached for it again because i really enjoyed it now I like to switch stuff up, so hair. I know it's not doing anything for the look, but the final look will be <laughs> All right, well, I got two different blushes here, so I may do, we'll see. Um, I think you're probably more interested in Jaclyn than Wet n Wild, but I could be wrong. So I got the Jaclyn Hill Rouge Romance palette, and which one are you? Oh, well, <laughs> who knows? Oops, more cardboard. The Rouge Romance. Oh, Rouge Affair. Now, I like the idea of it. I think it's beautiful, but for $45, I feel like it's very cheap. Very cheap. But colors are beautiful. I'm really eyeballing this one. They're not exactly matte because you can see the shimmer in this one. It's got like a, should I say, like a sheen to it. So they're not flat matte. Um, very pigmented. This is probably too dark for me but I would probably still try to use them because I think they're gorgeous um but I'm really drawn to this one uh, also however I need I need you guys here with me so you can tell me what to use I also picked up the Jesse Spano and um AC Slater blush and it's all right and it's like this duo which are both also very pretty very similar to these <laughs> some of the shadows in here Mm, yes yes all right so i'm gonna skip on that but if you want a video me using that i'll be happy to do that and we're just gonna use this shimmer one here sorry i blinded you we can just use this mirror and we're gonna use the same eh, this brush is my it cosmetics it is so old it has no number on it and it is stained because i've used it for cream for too long um but these are not cream these are powder very dusty dust it see dusted all over but that's okay as long as it's pigmented it doesn't oh oh baby that's beautiful i take it all back jacqueline i'm so sorry please forgive me i'm a horrible person it is beautiful <laughs> oh i don't know i mean like this is not matte this has got this beautiful sheen to it and it's pigmented i was scared to go in because it was so bright to... but you can build it if you're a clown like me you can just keep going and going and going and going <laughs> i don't think i got a new highlighter how dare me oh no <laughs> all right so that is and again as a rouge affair it's very pretty though i'm glad i picked it up even though it's cardboard for 45 dollars. all right and then also the one size powder because we don't know how the patrick star is gonna do so and I'm just gonna go around where my wrinkles are at, where everything like. I like that. Thank you, Jessica. Of course, I knew you went steer me in the wrong direction. And then just take it in my glowish from Huda. I think this was the all over bronze brush, but I like it for highlighting. The brow bone in the inner corner. 
right, so there's that. Again, Ofra Glazed Donut. I don't, I'm assuming they still make that. Charlotte Tilbury Brow, Micro Precision Brow Pencil. And I got the shade Medium Brown, which is what the girls at Sephora thought would be perfect for me because, you know, my hair is multicolored, so it's always hard to tell. Um, so we are going to see if this is better than my Morphe I've been using and loving or my Maybelline that I use on love. But it is Charlotte Tilbury. And it is like angled. So we'll see. It's waxy, which I approve of. I like a waxy so it doesn't sweat off. The color looks superb. So the girls did good as usual. Oh, yes. Okay, well, that was quick and easy. So, I mean, <laughs> and it's a perfect color. So, that worked out. Because it's a little bit of my, it's like my root color, this color here. Like the, a little bit of the darker, those two colors. So, I will have to use this on a day that I work. Um, and... Let y'all know how it lasts because that's the key. Is like Maybelline doesn't come off, Morphe doesn't come off. I've used a few that I lost a brow during the middle of a shift, and that is not a good look. <laughs> so we're gonna take the other end, the little spoolie. I feel like I used quite a bit of it though, because it's already down to be twisted back up. So I do love it because it is waxy, so it really sticks to the hairs. So I have a good feeling about that. I feel good about this purchase where you can tell I'm talking myself into keeping all this stuff. <laughs> Buyer's remorse. All right, and then I picked up the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Eyeliner in Black. I love me some Rare Beauty. Look at this packaging. I mean, if that's not bouge, I don't know what is. Like... <laughs> And it's got this long mother freaking so here is to not poking around because that would ruin everything. Glitter is tricky because it wants to uh, just get on the glitter and then it doesn't get on the lid so then you just have like gaps. Well, done, and that is beautiful, so let's, you're just praying for this eye. All right, so as long as it stays, it doesn't transfer onto my lid, I will do a full update. Um, I'll do like, probably at the end of August, a review on everything that I have for the month and kind of give you updates there because most of this other than the L'Oreal is just first impressions <laughs> and then this is relatively new it is the Morphe I hauled it the make it big mascara I have been using it it's the one with the pretty embossing on it and I love this I don't have not heard anybody talk about this but holy moly it is good stuff and I got it in my hair perfect Yeah, you can see that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It looks like it has extensions in it or something. I think it was like 10 bucks. <laughs> they said it was supposed to be like a better version of the Better Than Sex Too Faced is what they told me in store. Um, I would say it blows that out of the water. Like I didn't, I liked it when I first got it, but over time I could not stand that. This is way better. This is taking over my essence and you know how much I love that. And then also because I love her. Selena, she's just so amazing. I know anything I can do to support her. But also because this was like TikTok viral. And they said you have to have it. It's the, I guess I could tell you, the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1. I keep the packaging and I haven't taken photos of it. So that's why everything opens from the bottom. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to give it a go and see how. I think it's the only setting spray I got. Okay.
We'll see. We'll have to see because I got that dewy <laughs> foundation on and we do not know about that. All right. So make sure I don't have foundation on my lips. And then I had Ulta. I picked up Coco K from Cali Cosmetics. It's a lip gloss. Is this plumping? Oh, it's just called her high gloss. It's her new packaging. I like more pink the better. So I approve of that. And this color was just giving me 90s vibes. You can see, yeah, you can see that. It's almost like my lip color just a little bit off. So I don't have to worry about it being all over my teeth. I think it goes perfect with this eye. I'm a big fan of the Cali Cosmetics, so I love that. I'm going to change clothes, fix my hair, and I'll be back so you can see the final product. Okay, so I'm back, and all I have done is just put on a nice shirt instead of a grungy sleep shirt and uh, curl my hair, obviously, because what's a video without me curling my hair? And I uh, pulled up my bangs because it's 105 degrees outside and it's very humid, and they just go psh. So <laughs> I thought I'd save myself some time. So let me know what your favorite product that I tried was. Was it the Wet Mom palette? Which, I mean, I'm going to try to insert some better photos because I don't know if it's doing any justice, but it is gorgeous. Like, sparkly, beautiful. Or, these are my top two. The L'Oreal Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. And, again, I'm in 0 0.5 to 2. So, if you are my shade, let me know if you love that. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. I don't know what order, but I have lots of videos that will be coming up. So be sure you're subscribed. I have uh, lots of videos coming up. I am trying to do the four to five videos a week. Um, so yes, be sure you're subscribed. Turn on your post notifications. Leave comments down below and I will talk to you next time.